Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. On Motor Week, we've often said that the cars are the stars. But in Hollywood, it's the people that count most. Even the most exciting cars have always played a secondary role to the flesh and blood actors. But we wouldn't be Motor Week if we didn't see that four-wheeled performers get some recognition. So let's join Jennifer Kuznabis as she introduces you to our candidate for this year's best supporting vehicle. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Is Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Angelina Jolie is the star of the 2001 summer blockbuster Tomb Raider. But there's another major character in the movie. But the funny thing is, she has no speaking part. She doesn't have to speak. The bold presence of this custom Defender 110 makes sure that when you think of the film, you think of Land Rover. The Tomb Raider, uh, the Defender 110, is in the movie. And it's a special one-off vehicle that we built specifically for this movie. Land Rover Special Vehicles in England built this vehicle. Appropriate because Angelina Jolie's character, Lara Croft, is British. Born into wealth, she's suddenly faced with the responsibility of finding two artifacts which give ultimate power to its possessor. The Defender 110 in the movie basically takes her to Cambodia, where the search really begins. A great plot for Land Rover because adventure is what their vehicles are all about. The vehicle and the association with the movie very much signifies the adventure element of what Land Rover is all about. We want to be all about adventure. We want to be about guts and doing exotic things in exotic locations. And this is what this movie is about and the association is perfect. And the vehicle fits into the movie very well. And she had a work cut out for her. It was one action scene to another. I fortunately didn't have to go through all that to drive the Defender. I took the actual movie car off-road and put it to the test. For a movie prop, it held up pretty well. With a partially open roof, rain can pose a problem, but hey, if you've seen this flick, you know that Lara Croft handles a lot more than a few drops of rain. The rest of the Defender is based on the original. Well, it was um, Defender 110, so it runs on a 110-inch wheelbase, permanent four-wheel drive, four-wheel electronic traction control, which is standard in all the Defenders now they sell. It uh, has a four-speed automatic transmission, um, two tra uh, transfer case with two speeds, low and high range transfer case. Um, those are all available in every Defender you buy. That's uh, key to all Land Rover products, the permanent four-wheel drive, the four-wheel trash control, locking center differential on the Defender. The engine is a four-liter V8 and produces about 190 horsepower. Now Ms. Croft may be tough, but she's not uncivilized. An Ericsson phone and GPS navigation system are included. For those sticky situations, she has side, front, and rear winches, a first aid kit, emergency kill buttons, and a fender-mounted shovel and axe. The entire vehicle displays Land Rover. Well, with what people are doing in movies nowadays, the authenticity of movies is very important. As the movie's loosely based on the Lara Croft video game, in the video game, she has a Land Rover. And they came to us and said, well, we're trying to make an authentic reproduction. We want this to be an authentic movie. And it worked. Tomb Raider has so far grossed over $130 million, and the number keeps growing. It has made Angelina Jolie into an even bigger star, and it has also given Land Rover the chance to experience the bright lights of Hollywood. 